for Mullen. What a fine game he's had. Thrown by Ledesma. Mignoni. James and Umbai. And there's space there for Joubert. And where there has been space today, he's used it. James again. Rougery. Ooh, knocking Howlett to the floor. And as Rougery does, he stays on his feet for a long time. But Howlett might get the last laugh. He tries to go up the touchline. Little ball inside from Foley. He's trying to get there to get it back. Buckley is carrying it on. Foley. He's got a man outside. Ogara couldn't find him. Off the floor it goes. Buckley. That's brilliant play for the replacement. Stringer just can't get the pass out. Ogara's on the floor. Stringer back to his feet. Move it now. Munster must move it now. And there's a chance through the middle. There is. It's Maffey underneath the post. Munster know the way. Certainly in France they know the way too. How do they do it? You thought they were just about out. They were on one knee as Rougerie went through Howler. Then Howler starts the counter-attack and from 80 metres in their own 22 on the touchline. Here he goes, Doug Howler with the speed of Horan and then it opens up for Maffey and Munster have right now the all-important bonus point. An unbelievable pull. It's been all Clement. Astonishing stuff. Maffey involved at the turnover and then the try scorer. It was all about whether Stringer could get that ball out. Clement and Verne were desperately trying to trap the Munster scrum half, but Stringer 24. and O'Gara there as well managed to free the breakdown, get it out because there were men out wide, big overlap. And Maffey, the man to take the opportunity, O'Gara at the conversion, and suddenly it's so, so different. Well, Brilliant work from the Munster forwards. Horan and Foley, both Horan's speed and Foley's ability to keep that move alive. We're just seeing the tail end of the try as Maffey scores it. But Horan must have run 30 metres and Foley showed all his experience. He got to the 22.